Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish with the Kish Cash Fund. And of course, I, if you remember, we were uh, thinking about AMD and where, were the, where was that going to bottom out and what might be an opportunity to, to get into AMD. Now please listen to me all my friends. Um, I'm not touting AMD at all. Uh, I've just been watching this for a while and an opportunity for myself to make some money on it. I do believe it is time to uh, take 25%. This is my plan. I'm taking 25% of my portfolio and I'm going to uh, buy AMD. Um, and the reasons being is we're looking at uh, the AMD chart uh, closing today, uh, uh, Wednesday the 28th of uh, November 2012, closing at 2004. Um, let me just pause this a second and we'll bring up a different uh, time frame on a AMD but the same daily chart, okay? Okay, we're back again looking at AMD. Same daily chart, only a, a smaller time frame. So the larger one, as we can see, with this thing did come down quite some, quite a bit. Um, trading uh, volume is great in the millions, right? It had uh, three great days here, and um, you know, been been in the the, the scrub grass here a bit, um, spinning top, and it's beginning to go up. Okay, where do we buy it at? Uh, okay, are we going to jump right in tomorrow at at 2.04 or so or, or whatnot? Um, okay, um, my plan tomorrow is, is take a look-see at the, the whole market direction. Today was uh, the trend was below 1, so everybody was buying. If uh, people are selling tomorrow, I'm just going to wait, you know. Uh, but if it's uh, if they're buying and this thing goes up a little bit um, and things uh, look like they're trending back on on the upward uh, design, I may just take this as a day trade only, or I may stay in overnight. But uh, my excitement right now is that I'll be playing 25% of my portfolio on AMD and. Uh, the uh, it looks like it's going to be trending upward. Okay, so that's the deal on AMD. We were waiting on that one anyway, and I think that I think now is a good time to uh, t to start entering uh, on AMD. For those that want to go uh, long, long, long on this thing, which I don't really recommend uh, doing uh, at all. But uh, say if you're if you're looking at a at a short term trade uh, on uh, AMD of say a few days, um, uh, perhaps a week, um, something to that effect, uh, be really careful uh, doing anything for that any length of time. And here's your hints on that. Um, this looks like your. Uh, support lines right in through here and then of course your resistance lines right in through here which were we just broke okay so it looks like it's it's back on its way up so we um, if we were to uh, go in a uh, uh, looks like a, a, a long direction for uh, a short term period the the market is uh, on a daily basis it, it looks like it may be trending upward uh, looking at your spider and some other indicators uh, we buy in uh, uh, say at two dollars okay and then our stop is as a dollar eighty alright so that's a twenty cent stop and if you bought in at a dollar uh, ninety five then uh, perhaps um, uh, I would think that it's not it hasn't been trading you know under the the dollar eighty so uh, 
I, I think we're good on that. Uh, but I would put a stop in of a dollar eighty for sure. If you want, put a, t a stop in at a dollar eighty five even. If you want to play it a little a little closer, um, or that range between a dollar eighty dollar eighty five, and uh, look to buy in um, anywhere from uh, say a dollar eighty dollar eighty five on up to the two bucks. See what see how well you do. Okay. All right, we'll pause this, and that's the deal on uh, AMD. Again, I'm uh, I'm going to accumulate some because it looks like it's being accumulated. Uh, we'll bring up another chart. Okay, we're we we've spoke a lot about Aria, and uh, the I, I'm bearish on Aria. Of course, it had a wonderful day today. Uh, looking at. Uh, What's been going on with it? The reason why I'm bearish on, on Aria is, uh, of course, the uh, um, looking like the uh, head and shoulders in through here, and um, you know your your double tops here, quasi triple top here, uh, with this start, and then the the uh, you know uh, a death cross here, when the twenty crosses the fifty. Um, so this was a definite um, you know short opportunity and I still believe it is uh, of course today had a had a good day um, most stocks were purchased so a lot of this did go up at, as we see with this candle right here but as you observe it did stop at uh, before it got to the 50 day moving average uh, it uh, here's a hammer, but it's not a high hammer. It's not a low hammer. It's just a hammer uh, bouncing off from the 20-day uh, moving average. So this was one I, I wouldn't have played today, uh, other than uh, if I saw it moving upwards, I may have taken a few hundred shares and. Uh, gone in and watched it closely with some uh, tight stops and uh, it did well it made like a dollar and three cents for the day I believe uh, overall for the day uh, 109 million shares traded uh, but again I am I would if you did not sell if you got in and did not sell uh, all of your aria today then um, Hopefully tomorrow it's not going to gap down or anything, but I would definitely want to, um, if it was myself. Again, I'm not touting how one would trade. Uh, if I were, uh, I, I would be out of Aria, okay, and I would be looking to short it um, at about right where it's at. You know, 2256, the 2280 mark, somewhere in there. I would be. Uh, again, depending on the day, and and uh, again, if you know, I'm I would be looking to short it at the 22.56. So tomorrow, um, if uh, it is uh, opens up at 22.80 and and looks like it's tanking, I'll definitely short it. If it opens up uh, at the 22.80 and there's still a lot of excitement on it, uh, and it's and and people are buying it, then uh, I will not short it. Um, and that's about it on that. Again, I'm very bearish on the Aria, even though it had a nice day today. I'm looking to short that. Uh, again, that's my still my short opportunity over the next few days. All right, let me pause this puppy, and we'll move on to uh, something else we've been taking a look at that I've been flapping my jaw about. Here's an old friend of mine, uh, Kirk's Biopharmaceuticals. And... Um, as you notice lately we've talked a lot about um, our uh, you know uh, triangles and you know descending ascending triangles and stuff like that this one here is a little bit of a, a mind-boggling uh, uh, it's a pennant in a way of course here's your here's your flagpole and whatnot but um, this was a bit surprising. Of course, today was a, an upper day. Um, much caution on this one because this is a nosebleed area for this. 
again it's either going to go up down um, or sideways but uh, my guess on this one here is I'm, I'm, a, I'm watching this I'm not going to be going long on, on Kirk's at uh, uh, where it's at in fact um, you can't short it but most homes uh, brokerage firms wouldn't allow you to short it but uh, I'm not I'm not going to recommend to myself or anyone else to uh, uh, go long on Kirk's at uh, at the point where it's at. I would be like, hands off. Let's wait and see if it goes up to five dollars tomorrow, uh, and it's just zooming and climbing. Then yeah, let's you know sometimes that happens and you get lucky and jump in for you know a, a little while and and ride ride it up and and get out for the day. Um, so yeah, if it does that and we're watching it, that that's fine. Um, but uh, if not, I, I would definitely not not buy any of that. I think uh, I think we should stay away from that one. All right. So that's the 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 Kirk's trade. We're just watching that one right now, and uh, let's take a look at something else real quick. All right. This is a chart of uh, Cellside Corporation uh, CVM. I've uh, been watching this for. Uh, over three years I think uh, it's at 35 cents right now um, back uh, over in this area here I think it was somewhere around 20 what 26 cents or so um, I have seen of course you know it's been up to uh, in the 60s 60 cent range uh, there um, so we've you know been plotting this and putting up our Fibonacci's and whatnot, uh, folks. We've seen this uh, go from fifty cents uh, for a couple of days to like a, a dollar and ten, dollar sixteen, a dollar twenty, and stay there. You know, find find a day when it just hung there, and then the following day it went up to a dollar eighty five. Okay, then then it slowly come down. You know. And uh, it's a speculation stock. All right. Um, met a new friend, Brian. Brian, this is for you, um, because uh, we were talking about penny stocks and what can you do with with something like this. You can make a difference in in your wallet. You you uh, can buy a thousand shares at thirty five cents. You can buy a thousand shares for three hundred fifty dollars. You can buy five hundred shares for one hundred seventy five dollars. Okay, plus your commissions. So should this thing take back off to you know sixty nine seventy cents, um, hey you've doubled your money. That's excellent, you know, to do. Again, it's a spec stock. Could it you know bomb out to nothing and be worthless? Absolutely. Could Ford do that? Absolutely. Could you know could AIG you know do that? Of course it did. It did that you know. So um, there you go. So here's like CVM. Uh, you don't have to know uh, the ins and outs uh, about you know this this thing, uh, but yeah, they've got something going on, and if it proves um, to be you know um, if they get their licenses here and there for it, of course it's uh, it's going to be worth more than thirty five cents. Uh, I don't know what, but anyway, as a spec stock, as a penny stock. Uh, sell side corporation um, I hold uh, uh, at different times um, thousands of shares of sell side corporation because I believe um, that it will probably um, uh, either do well or not okay and then yes I do have some stops in not in on this thing I mean if I buy this thing uh, it doesn't have much of a, a range sometimes uh, in a day, but you know, well, on a day like that, it did. But let's just say if you uh, if you get in at thirty five cents and the low is twenty six cents, okay. Um, what take a take a thirty? You you could take your stop at thirty cents if you wanted to on something like that, or if you got in at thirty three or thirty one cents. Then your stop is what twenty eight cents if you want, or even the low, low, low of the the twenty six cents. 
but you know definitely put your stops in because I don't want you to lose the three hundred fifty dollars if you bought that thousand shares okay if you lose if, if you if we're wrong on this if you want to go in with, uh, in with the idea with me on this that's totally up to you but if if we're wrong on this let's limit let's not lose the whole three hundred fifty bucks okay um, uh, the rule of thumb is that we would have 25% of our portfolio, no more than that, in any one trade. So if you are uh, uh, buying a, th a thousand shares, uh, you, you can not, uh, uh, you should have at least, um, you know, like $1,400 in, in your trade account in order to, to even consider a thousand shares of CVM. If you don't have the fourteen hundred dollars in your account, let's say you have seven hundred dollars in your account, then um, uh, in uh, the proper rule of, of trading wise is no more than twenty five percent in any one trade. So you're you're down to uh, five hundred shares, but five hundred shares is a whopping lot of shares if if this thing goes to like a dollar thirty five. I mean. Five hundred dollars on, uh, you know, profit on an investment of one hundred seventy-five dollars is like you doing good, buddy. Okay, um, it's gonna take some time. You have to have some real patience with this uh, because uh, it's been going sideways um, in that uh, uh, you know thirty-five cent range for uh, quite some time and. Uh, you know, you know. Good luck with it, Brian. Again, it, we were talking about making money and thing. Oops, I'm sorry. We were talking about making money, um, and um, it, this might uh, me. Th I'm kind of stumbling here because it's a spec stock, but I, I've got a couple of thousand shares uh, uh, in this uh, most of the time anyway. All right. With that, everybody, have a great holiday season. Don't know when the next time I'm going to be back on and or whatever. But uh, God bless. Merry Christmas. Keep green on your screen. Catch you later. Bye-bye.